So Meg and I are down here in downtown Portland, which isn't our favorite place, but yeah. we're gonna check out this huge store called Urbanite. We've like sold stuff to this the vendors here like quite a few times. We've never actually personally been in here. So we're gonna give it a go and see what we can find. Pretty cheap. Oh, it's mohair velvet. Megan really liked this thing in the background. This massive, like, industrial cabinet. That's so cool. Nice and nice. Probably like it's like 4K plus. This is literally Walmart. These are both from Wayfair. That's crazy. You can buy these on Wayfair. This is cool. That makes sense why this sold. This thing is, oh my goodness, $3,000 and it sold. Dang, that is crazy. I love it. Let's go see what Megan's doing. Look at that leather couch over there. It's oh. like that white one I have. It sold for 3K. You have one like that? That white one? It's like that boucle. Um. This is kind of cute. This old door. $1,200 for this door. Yeah, well, I think it's an old encased door. It's an actual old door. Yeah, square headed nails. Oh, yeah, it probably was like a wardrobe or uh -huh. kitchen pantry or something. That's cute. I've never I like that lock. Like that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is probably definitely our style for sure. The feet on that thing. All the stone. Not too bad about yourself. Do you like caramels? I do not. Oh, who do you? <laughs> oh my gosh. I have samples to give away, and if I don't give them away soon, I'm going to weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> Do that cute? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's like the thing that I donated. Uh huh. I like this dude. Oh, that makes sense. Cool. Portland. We've sold the vendors here multiple times. We've never actually just been in here. Oh, I actually Yeah, you bought a, a leather sway Chesterfield. Oh, good. As a matter of fact, somebody bought that. <laughs> Dang, look at those little kid stools. Those are funky. 
Yeah, she got like 2500 3000 for that couch. Why is there multiple of these Wayfair couches? Mm-hmm. This couch is cool. This is like an Adrian Pearsall looking. 1500? Oh, it's Harvey Prover. Love that dude. That's a Harvey Prover? Yeah. It's kind of cheap too, in my opinion. 15. 15? Wow. Mm -hmm. Harvey Prover is the guy that invented sectional couches. Cute. Oh, what's this? What's that big brown piece back here? Oh, kind of like a really gothic. Hmm. Not quite our style. Look at that guy behind you. <laughs> Interesting. How much do you think he is? I say seven. Oh, he's on sale for twelve. <laughs> Yeah, this is the booth that I bought out before whoever used to be there. Oh, those right. Dang, that vanity is really cool. That's cool. Five seven five. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like if we were to have a booth, it'd be here because like you know, if we price stuff that will be priced at is. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's an upstairs too. What? Really? I think so. I wish they didn't paint this. Look at the back, it's got a giant hole in it. Mm -hmm. You know? That like minty. Yeah, I love that. I like these like airport stool benches. Oh, here's that thing you saw on Facebook. We saw this on Facebook and that's why we came here. That's not bad. The hinges are oh, this is like, not um, correct. The Indonesian imports. Uh huh. Right, right. I mean, they have really old nails. Is that wood? Oh, that's wood. Hmm. Well, what the heck? These are our apothecary poles. Where'd you go? Look at this. Those are apothecary drawers. Ours are? Uh huh. You know the bottom drawers we have in the big cabinet? Those are like the little mini ones. Oh. See you know what I'm saying? Oh. Follow my Instagram. Oh. I wish they didn't paint that. 
This would have been cool. Dang. 5,000. Oh, isn't this people that you talk to? Antelope. Yeah, this is. Oh, cool. Like, if you're a vendor right here, you just... Oh, I guess that isn't open. Never mind. Yeah. Or maybe? I don't know. Probably not. I like this, like, coat hanger style. It's, like, industrial. It's fun. I like how neat everything is here. Right. Oh, those couches are cool. How much do you think they are a piece? I think 12. Oh, 460? Oh, no, 1100. New velvet sofa. Yeah. This is like our nightstand almost. Okay, so you want to go back to the front now? I think we're already looking. How much is this? Like, this thing is gorgeous. Which one? The one in the living room. What? Oh. That's gorgeous. It has like the perfect patina. Mm hmm. You can see how many times people open that right drawer. <laughs> I can go ask how much it is. Well, here's this like MCM tall boy we see all the time. Hmm. 210. That's cheap and affordable. It's like Facebook Marketplace price. Mm hmm. This chair is cool. What? 145. Is this supposed to be a rocking chair? Hmm. This is like Victorian booth. Dang this. Huh. Look at this like marble plinth or column. Oh yeah, that's pretty cute. What's up? I like the knobs. knobs. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find them when they're ebonized like that. Yeah, really cool place for sure. I'd, I'd vend here. I call it everything's not like rinky dink cheapo prices. Yeah, this as is is 360. I think you do pretty good here. And I can bring all my vintage couches. Oh wow. Ooh, the dragonflies. That's cool. Dragonfly is my symbol for my grandpa that passed. That's pretty cool.
stars? Uh, it might be. Not the same same one, but I'm saying like... Right. Is it the... No, it's not. I, I like this back, though. This is cool, like how you access it. Never seen that before. I didn't even see that chair walk right past it. 3750 You want a $4,000 chair? <laughs> okay, so we just left Urbanite. So this is our business card. We will try to apply and be a vendor there because it's very aesthetically pleasing, very neat, organized, and we know like three or four of the vendors already and the lady we bumped into earlier in the video i actually sold her a i'll see if i can find a picture and put it up in this clip right here but i sold her a couch i got for free for seven hundred dollars and she sold it in 10 minutes for twenty five hundred dollars so i dropped the ball on that one i guess but i mean i also made seven hundred dollars so but what'd you think about it i thought it was great probably one of like the better antique stores we've been to for like if we want to bend there because I never mm -hmm. really see ones that I like that I would put my stuff in but their price points are really similar to what we sell our stuff for right so I feel like it would be a good fit and it's really big and clean it's easy to shop and the people are really nice it reminds me of that antique railroad yeah it's an antique store because his like place is like immaculate yeah yeah we would like to do a booth we did a booth in the past but it wasn't a good experience so it kind of killed it for us, but I feel like we're getting to a point now where we have the inventory and we kind of have like a customer base where we'd be more comfortable because people can go there and look at it instead of making an appointment with us. Right. But we have to find the right fit for us because last time was so horrible. <laughs> yeah. Where we vented last time had an antique booth for like three months, like all in, maybe we sold like $3,000 and our take home after rent fees was like a thousand. So it's just like an absolute waste. Yeah. And the other vendors weren't that nice yeah. and it just wasn't a good experience bad vibe yeah but that's how you yeah. learn yep wouldn't have known and then we took all of our inventory out of that antique booth and sold out sold four thousand dollars in a week and then went on vacation so yeah so that's how we learned we can do it on our own we don't have to have a booth right in the beginning yeah yeah but thanks for watching yeah